What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to talk about the Hitbox Stickless Arcade Stick. Um, so, I borrowed this thing from a friend a couple days ago. Uh, it costs $160 uh, plus shipping. Uh, first let's talk about aesthetics. So you guys know this thing is tiny compared to my hand. It's very small. Um, the case is made of all metal, probably aluminum or something. Um, I don't know if it, functionally it would be better if it were bigger, but it is very small. Um, it has this artwork underneath the plexi, which is easy, easily changeable, I presume. These are Allen wrenches. Uh, these are Allen hex screws. So you can just, um, you know, change the art if you want. Uh, the start, select, and home button are on the sides. And the top is, these are all Sanwa parts. Uh, these are 24 millimeter Sanwa buttons, and this is the this is the only 30 millimeter Sanwa button. So 30 millimeter is what you would normally find on a standard arcade stick. So I don't know why they decided to go with smaller buttons. I I suppose it's more ergonomic. I presume they've done testing. This thing has been designed, I guess, by some kind of technician or engineer or some shit. I don't know. Um, anyway, in case you guys aren't familiar with what this thing is. There is obviously no arcade stick here. Uh, instead, there are buttons for all your directions. On one player side, this is back, this is down, and this is forward, and this is up. Now, uh, I don't know how much research they did or what their logic was behind putting the up button all the way the fuck down here, but obviously there must be some purpose to it. Um, I am not a stick uh, hitbox player, but I have been playing on this thing for a couple days now to do this review um, and you know I have I have mixed feelings on it um, first of all I guess I'll talk about its effectiveness um, first thing I did was I tried it out with Tekken and the first few minutes I was like you know very confused I mean it's really you know difficult to kind of wrap your head around you know this being the down button and then having to hit both of these for down forward or you know down back or doing something like wave dash was kind of war kind of weird it, it it's like a kind of odd but once you once you get past understanding how this thing functions I, I started to think about how can I uh, abuse the fact that these are buttons instead of an arcade stick so first thing that came to mind was Kazuya's counter hit down forward two into electric and let me tell you I am not a Kazuya player and I've never been able to do that very easily. And it took me about 15 minutes to get it to a point where I was getting it like 1 in 4, 1 in 5. In 15 fucking minutes. That is preposterous. 1 in 4, 1 in 5. That's like one of the hardest things to do in Tekken. And oh, actually now that I think about it, I didn't even try a Taunt Jet Upper. That might be very easy with this. But... Um, so I started to get that, and I was like, wow, you know, this is kind of cheap. And then I was thinking, what else can you do with this? And I thought to myself, well, since there's no arcade stick on the left side, that means you can double tap directions. And that means that you can get perfect forward, forward, or back, back moves. And you may be thinking, oh, how, why is that important? Well, think about Julia. If Julia hits you with, uh, down forward one, when you're crouching, she needs to do a perfect forward forward three to get the launcher. And you can do forward forward three perfectly and easily with this thing. So, I'm starting to think, wow, this thing is really fucking cheap. Now, uh, another thing I thought of is doing instant while running moves. You can simply triple tap with these three buttons and just hit like a slash kick or shining wizard or whatever. And, you know... It, it comes out in a really inhuman way because just picture triple tapping one button compared to hitting forward, neutral, forward, neutral, forward, neutral on an arcade stick. Obviously, this is going to be much faster. So, you know, I had, I had heard about people playing on this thing and obviously no really top level not notable players have taken this seriously. Uh, the only one I can think of is Rio who's a Mortal Kombat player, and he actually won Devastation using this thing. At the time, I was thinking to myself, wow, you know, 
this guy is really good, obviously. He was really good before he was using one. But I was thinking, how is this guy doing instant air gas blast with Cabal so low to the ground? I mean, he was, like, on the ground when he was shooting these air fireballs. And I, I realized that up forward is just this. So all you have to do is up forward, up forward two times and then hit the button. That is so fucking cheap if you think about it. So as far as functionality, I think this thing is, like, really good. I think you can do things with this that you cannot do with an arcade stick or a pad. And for that reason, and I have, all, I have felt this way for a while, for that reason I have come to the conclusion that I genuinely think that this thing should not be allowed in competitive fighting game tournaments. Um, personally, my view on competitive fighting game tournaments is everyone should use arcade sticks. Now, this argument doesn't hold too much weight because most fighting games come out on console these days and it would be kind of preposterous to ban the peripheral that the fighting game, that comes with the console that the fighting game is released on. That doesn't make much sense and I understand that. So we are stuck with pad and I know there, as far as Tekken goes, there are tons of pad players and that's fine, you know, there's there's nothing I could do about that. But when it comes to something like this, I almost feel like there is no governing entity that can police anything like this. And I feel like, okay, even if this thing isn't over the top, you know, where do we draw the line? Uh, at this point, if you think back 10 years ago, and you looked at, you know, pretty much everyone was playing on arcade sticks... I mean, look at where we've gotten. What is this thing? This is what is this thing? This thing's a this thing's a joke, you know. And when I think about like you know, the concept of this, I I just get like, I can't believe how far fighting games have come and how much they've changed. And it, I I think to myself, well, where are they going to go next? You know, what's going to be next? Some guy could invent some other kind of peripheral where all I do is you know keep my hand on my lap and just like move my fingers it's a glove I wear some power glove or some shit or you know whatever god knows what people could do maybe some guy's gonna learn how to play fucking Tekken on a beat mania fucking turntable or a dance pad you know where do we draw the line is there any integrity in the competitive fighting game scene or are we just gonna let people fucking walk into a tennis match with a baseball bat or fucking, you know, do whatever the fuck they want, you know, like, that's retarded, you know, it just, somebody needs to establish an authoritative stance, and just ban shit, you know, because it's like, there is no, there's no telling where, where it will go next, um, personally speaking, I think that this thing, as I said, is very effective, in fact, a little too effective, um, it's not quite on the level of, you know, like, programmable sticks and, like, cheating and stuff. Uh, because you do have to make all of your inputs on your own. Um, but the, the things that are possible with this are pretty much impossible by a human on an arcade stick or a pad. And just in concept, that is unfair. So... Um, I'm not quite sure if this review is really, I, I'm, I don't know if I can tell you guys to, whether or not to buy this thing. Uh, if you want to, go for it. Um, I'm not a fan myself. I wouldn't pay for it. I think it's a joke. And I'm a competitive player. Uh, and, you know, I think it's a joke. I think it's fucking retarded. And if you think it's cool, try it out. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, I'm going to be returning this as soon as possible, and I'm probably never going to touch one again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about this thing. I mean, I, I appreciate the the innovative concept, and I appreciate that, you know, whoever's making it, um, you know, they're, they're creative about it, and they're trying to take things to a new level. I also think that it's a creative name, you know, kind of catchy. Hitbox, you know, you can see what they did there, but... Um, Give me a fucking break. Hitbox? This thing's a joke. Anyway. <laughs> uh, 
Um, do me a solid and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, I know you guys are waiting for the advanced uh, movement tutorial for Tekken. Um, I decided that I'm going to wait for Hybrid to come out, uh, Tekken Hybrid, uh, so I could just do it on Tekken Hybrid so that you can see um, that all these movements and all this stuff that I'm talking about will work in Tekken Tag 2. Um, anyway, so yeah, just give, I think it's coming out in like a week or something like that, two weeks. So anyway, um, yeah, do me a solid, subscribe, and this thing's a fucking joke, and it should be banned. I'll catch you guys later.